So here we are, no costume, no makeup. It is just me, Gary, and our Jane. I've got to be back in seal it on. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to them from the word go, Gary, and a bit of mascara. You've not got any. You've got fake tan on. I've got the fake bake plastered. You've got fake tan. A ginger and no a ginger <laughs> with tan. No, seriously, it's just us. Uh, no hiding behind anything. And why are we here, Jen? Well. We've always loved talking to people. I genuinely am a nosy cow, and he's just as bad. So, we love people's stories. Gary's told me about his family, his mum, his aunties. For years, haven't we? Yes. And we've always said we wanted to meet different folk. All the people for years that I've said I wanted to interview, most of them aren't here anymore. So, I said to Gary, let's do it. Let's do it now. Let's meet some of the most interesting people we've come across Real in our people. travels and uh, everyone's going to be open in their stories uh, and yeah we thought it would be a bit of fun so why not so come with us uh, on our little journey of being professional nosy bastards yes and we thought to ourselves there's a lot of podcasts out there but we don't want to do a podcast no you want to get in there and roam about people's houses i want to see the living room and i want to see where they go and i want to look them in the eye and oh. I, want, I want you lot to well, be able to see their faces <laughs> as well and one of the people that i've said to you for how many years oh, now that forever. i wanted you to meet forever is our lovely shamshad and shamshad is the actress that's you never see her face in still game mina so I'm desperate to take you to visit Shamshad in her home. Uh, she's been very kind enough to let us in and uh, and have a wee chat about her life. Her life is honestly, it's the, the things that have happened to Shamshad, the journey that she's had, um, you know, the good and the bad. And she's so open and so kind and so warm. And her nan bread is, well, it's second to none. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, I tell you, you should get a piece at anybody's door. She's a right greedy, well, you know what. I've been fantasising about the nan oh. for the last three days. So, Gary, everybody yes. out there, come and please meet the beautiful Shamshad. Come on. Gary, this the... is my dear friend Shamshad, oh, who played Shamshad, Nina. I know, so pleased to meet you. He's so been so nice excited. Shamshad, I just, and our daughter Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Good, good. So what we want to know, Shamshad, because we everything, used to speak everything. for hours and hours and did you, hours. Did you ever finish a conversation off? No, our ears no. are always no, bleeding. We always uh, muck about, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Shamshad's life. From even so, from before you came to Glasgow, mm -hmm. it was so interesting. So, can you take us right back and tell everybody and tell Gary your story? I'm Cham Chad. I was uh, actually my date of birth is in 1951. Because of I was too young after married to come to Scotland, my ex one make my date two years behind on the passport. <laughs> so and that's why I'm in November. Because the November the 6th is the date, my wedding day. Right. And he put that date in passport for as if to come over. I leave the school soon. They came, matter of fact, my mom doesn't let me to marry yet. But they came to home, my mom stopped them because he was a macho man, like a wrestler, you know. And I was when they were 15 and I was just like a very skinny girl, you know. But I was doing drama in my school. All we play the part as a boy because uh, I had a three brother after me. My mother lost two sons before me. And I was like a tomboy to the all the time. My father, my grandfather, I'm the always a special child in a house. And they made, they stopped them, they refused them, I'm not getting married. My in-laws, you know, they threatened my mother, if you're not giving your girl, 
we really make in your area this thing you know your daughter is a crop bad that's why we leave the girl and back home is you go to one house for all life your generation and thing you're all in the area we all you know mother father they're all scared because they threat them you know mm-hmm. and they did my grandfather didn't like him as well they say no that's no for us our girl i got married on 6th of november on 1966 after 20 days of married i was here when i came here like it well, you can see the room they rented match box only one bed one chair and uh, one wardrobe letter you know but nothing no radio nothing here and that's the way when i came i didn't even know the meaning of hello or anything everybody talk a smile you, you, you must have felt really lonely well because Frightened, it, lonely he is uh, nearly 20 year older than me right and uh, he is really ruling me hmm. not to speak not to out even they he says until i don't come from in a break because in a buses you know going out for uh, out of the room to go to the toilet because of the owner is a agent from mirpur and he knew that maybe they talk about and i can talk back and learn something and he keep me like a, i had a nervous breakdown so he deliberately kept you in the room so that you wouldn't learn english you no. wouldn't learn about the no. culture you wouldn't make friends or no he would just keep you there in there then is uh, they start i would feel any friends come his friends because they trying to be that time every week you get cinema the movies on and you love to go out till you can see the people and then he stopped me he said well my friends come their wives come to go to cinema you just say i don't like the film but i love my film back home as well yeah i just you know you keep quiet can he bother you you were only a child no he bothered me you know yeah. i can't even tell him if he ask me anything and if i can tell this is you know like this and back slap and uh, you can't say because of the nervous breakdown very bad after our marriage because there's a lonely in a box room and what age were you th- at that point fifteen that's a, just came 15. just came that time you know then is a uh, i'm got pregnant pregnant did i don't know what's happening he tell with me doctor to i'm like that a vomiting we to give me something a medicine again you know the about thing you know i don't know why then is a later on a pregnant with her, her in 1967 in july i think is a pregnant and as such up to 1968 she born you know but that period up to the birth i was so ill nobody even look after though nobody tell me what to take what not to take but he was you know he that take the boiled egg if i that's a first thing i remember he said take the uh, eggs i said don't like it because of feeling sick he just throw them because of coal fire he take the bag throw and the fire to showing anger you know taking as your bag there after that right yeah, if you tell them something that's no wrong right this is not How are you talk friend of me? If I don't answer him, he say I'm a dog. And did you have any contact with back home? Could you that, go that to any no phone? phone? No, no phone. You no keep phone in a house. No. If you want to phone, you go all the way outside. Telephone box. Why yeah. you could put the nothing trap and send. Yeah. And he do as mean as my mum's letter always come about two months because air mail letter yeah, that yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. and he is the first open a read he want to write first and then tell me write few line you mean he is holding the everything so he told you what to write what to back do. Home. yes yes so were you saying to your mom oh i'm fine and oh, great all... great great all story great sophia was born mm. and as a father was he hands on did you get any help No. not at all no. 
Did you? No. Were you close to your father at all, Lesbia? No. Never have been. No. No. Uh, till he, uh, he died. Just mm -hmm. roughly a few months ago now. Uh, in August, August the fifth, oh, he died. He, died. he passed, passed away. Yeah. And up to that point, there was no relationship. No, no, no. no never died. Had, so no. Did Did he remarry? No. Oh, no. he's a womanizer anyway. Yeah, no yeah. need to marry. You know. Any other children? Two brothers, I've got younger ones. And, and, and you, uh, is there any communication with them? Is there yeah. Oh, I'll do it with them. Yeah. 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 Did, did, he see, did he see the boys? or? With one Are of them, yeah, because he stayed with one of them. Oh, Older one, you know, oh. stayed with them because the daughter-in-law, he arranged a marriage with him. Oh. Oh. And, and, and really he there. took him back and me and her is no and invited in a wedding. Oh, I see. When, when you were with your husband, did it get better over the years? No. Did it, so he continued to be abusive and cruel. So he, yeah, so he's a, my, my sister came here. That part I tell you, the nice one. She is, he's got eyes on her. She was only baby on my wedding. She's only eight year old. Oh, he had eyes on her from that day. She's married here in a old he doesn't know what his brain running and anything and she come over i go to the shop she's in a house he's playing with her all the dirty games i didn't even think because he call her daughter she call him daddy and you never you never even think the oh, bad thing oh. going on then he's uh, her divorce went with him she living here then I find out very quickly something after a few years because she had a daughter from the man or wherever, I don't believe. And he he and her having sex every morning before open the shop. Now my young son, Anjam, he was a very little boy. He always tell me, Mommy, Daddy, shame, Daddy, shame. Because uh, in Bishop Rick we go, got shop for only two years before we went to Crow Road. Yeah. And uh, there is a shop and Okhanir Road is a house is together. And we are in a shop and uh, when he's in, she's there, they both is playing the game. When he's watching and he tell me, and I never even think that. When they're all going on everything, then he's bartering me a lot. When the final day he came to barter me, he always battered me after midnight when children sleeping. He pulled me because I had a bun all the time, you know. He pulled me from the bun. Tent road, we are living. He threw me in the lobby. Stand on my uh, thigh and hold me from here to my mouth shut as well. You can't even bring the voice out. My eyes blew up. I can't even move myself. And I don't know how much we am living uh, up to now. His finger came in my mouth, a bite, because that's how I can did. Yeah. Then he left the hand up. I shouted, Mohsen, I'm dying. Son is sleeping, he's really keen, over six feet. He, my God, he's seen the fa what father doing, he's trying to push the father down. Father's the macho man, he kicked him like a football, you yeah. know. Then I first time I out of the house, put a foot out to stand in a clothes, sitting in the stair, you know. And he tried to pulling me in, and I said, that's the first time I out of the house. I'll be go to my daughter, because I'm not safe, because he told me, as your last day, you're living. I don't know what he planned, because still fearing with them, my sister, you know, me, uh, my brother, anybody, you no know, watching him, because of the... She living in Pakistan separate now. Yeah. And he always go there to live with her. All the same story with her. And that's the way he want to finish me. But uh, that day I made it a, a decision. Yeah. I'm no living with them. And you never looked back. That was it. All, that's all, all that's me up to now. Were cut. That's me up to now. And you just looked after your kids. That's it. And how did you get into still game then? Sanjeev is the first with me, is my grandson in there, overnight express. You know the bus going from Bukhanan Gallery yeah. to Victoria? Yeah. 
that was a comedy the first one right from there to comedy unit took me ah that's it right and that's how you got involved with still and from game. still game the can loach pick me for his movie the a phone kiss yes that's how it mother for the three children ah that's how you got picked up for that mm. and your relationship with mm. sanjeev that was needed I mean, that was always a really good, close relationship, wasn't it? Their families, I know them before. You knew them before, no? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, you two are always close. No, he's a lovely boy. His mother, his mother is very good. His mother was raging when he did Still Game. Was she? Yeah, because I... he gave up medical school. No! <laughs> he was going, yeah, he was going to be a doctor. So he's at a Glasgow she, uni. She Which one is a girlfriend she... he left? <laughs> and now I'm going to work in a shop. <laughs> Sure, she had with her bag, <gasps> and she said, "You're gonna be the doctor. You're in this rubbish." <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, no. Now I was teasing, you know, and the few episodes done. I said, "I'm your daughter-in-law. Your son giving me hard time," and she laughed. You know, you giving him a hard time as well. <laughs> <laughs> but we did have good fun in the shop, didn't we? Mm. Twenty years. Very good. Twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. What a wee break in the middle, but yeah. we did. Yeah, we yeah. had good fun and good times. Did, did you find that with uh, Still Game, a, a new lease of life? That really takes your depression away. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very good for everyone. Even watching now, sometimes you're feeling all your terrible sitting. My young yeah. one, you know, grandson, he watched on the iPad. Yeah. And you feel like soon you're watching, you feel like, oh, my leg should be running all going. Yeah. And yeah. it's a give you energy you know yeah yeah it was good good fun good memories beautiful good times well that's the thing i'm doing the charity for more stress for down syndrome all right tell anywhere us more about this. coffee morning anything charity for disability charity for anywhere these are the naan i'm giving them sell them they make the money and so sews and cooks and she's with the uh, most charity tell me tell me more about most charity most charity for down syndrome yes. i'm doing since he born and this I'm is doing your charity grandson. before yes yeah. my grandson what she's trying to say she wants to open one up uh in pakistan ah right the way that they have facilities for these kind of people here yes. like the way uh, mo goes he goes to Cross Street, she wanted to find it, and it's got a few friends on a Saturday. Okay. She would like to have that kind of thing. Yes. In Pakistan. And because yeah. they don't have that. So they don't uh, have awareness, it awareness for these things, you know, they just only what I am. Because then, secondly, they don't even know what the meaning is Down syndrome as well. They don't have that. They just knowledge. say the God given gift. You know. That they're the family carrying in a house. They don't know but they don't have a teaching deal. class uh, and nothing there. Shamshad, from the bottom of our heart. Thank you so much, Shamshad. Thank you, very welcome. I told uh, uh, Isa because that's her name in her mind. You know. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> called me Meena, nobody remembered my name now. That's what I, you know. Since I show the face, for God's sake, everybody's a Meena. Ah, Hospital and living, they're putting my name on there, but down is a Meena. Every nurse comes by Meena. Yeah, Everything there. Well, Aye. bless you and uh, thank you. Thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. that with us.